Good evening, everybody. Um, one of the most fundamental values that Canadians, I think, subscribe, subscribe to is, and one thing that really unites us would be our right to freedom, to the uh, freedom of benefit, or sorry, freedom of belief and of expression. Um, religious freedom is something that has been a, uh, something that has really defined our country for a long time, the, the the freedom of belief is something that attracts people to our country and sets it apart. But <clears throat> something really concerning happened, and it kind of flew under the radar for a while. But it, it it happened in Canada a while ago, and that was Justin Trudeau has put in place a values test for groups that are applying to a program called the Canada Summer Jobs Grant. Now, this program is designed, it's been in, in, it's been in operation for many, many years. I'm sure some of you who are watching this feed might actually have been employed at one point as a Canada uh, Summer Jobs Grant recipient, but essentially what it is is it provides um, funding for um, organizations that have 50 or fewer employees and it, it, it basically helps create jobs, uh, summer um, jobs for students across the country. So this year, uh, what Justin Trudeau did was for people or groups that were applying to get this funding, he made them sign an, what he called an attestation of values before you could apply for the grant. So if you didn't sign this quote unquote attestation of values, you weren't able to apply for the funding. Now that's interesting, isn't it? So basically what he's saying is you have to believe a certain way in order to be eligible for taxpayer funds. Um, it's really interesting because we've had a lot of conversation uh, in Canada about religious freedoms one way or the other uh, of late and I find it very odd and curious that Justin Trudeau all of a sudden finds it appropriate to say that government funds will only be doled out if you believe a certain way and regardless of how you feel on a certain issue um, stifling the ability to discuss different issues is is something that I'm not sure we should go down that path in Canada and, and in fact I'm going to be much firmer in my word we shouldn't so uh, what have we done to prevent this from going forward my colleagues in the House of Commons put forward a motion basically calling on Justin Trudeau to reaffirm uh, his belief in that basic principle of uh, freedom of religious belief and uh, the, the, the right to have that in Canada and also calling upon the government essentially to reverse this decision. I think this is a pretty reasonable no-brainer motion for a variety of reasons. Um, many of you know that I was a cabinet minister at one point in time and I was responsible for overseeing grants and contributions of the department that I was in. Uh, I felt very firmly that one of the roles that I had was in, in terms of my oversight of grants and contributions was to set the eligibility criteria on the front end of a program. So for example, if, if I wanted to say, okay, this, this funding is going to uh, a certain purpose and, and here's who's eligible to apply, that was, that was the decision that we put in on the front end of the program. And you know, you, the electorate, would hold me to account for those decisions. Uh, and we also look at the mandate that you have in terms of government and in, 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 in outlining that on the front end. I think it's very odd and it's poor program design outside of the whole principle of uh, you know, basically denying the right of, of freedom of belief for the government to essentially say, okay, well, we're not gonna put any eligibility criteria in this program because we don't wanna take political heat for it. What we're gonna do is put the onus on groups to basically marginalize or, or or sign away their right to believe a certain way or another uh, in order to get funding. I just think it's preposterous. So I wanted you to be aware of the fact that this motion has been put forward in the House of Commons, it's been debated, and it'll be voted on uh, today. That, uh, unfortunately, I'm not in Ottawa today. I am uh, taking some meetings overseas related to immigration policy, but, um, I, I want you all to be to, to know that my intent, should I have been in Ottawa, was to vote in favor of our motion because I kind of think this is ridiculous and I don't think it's the best interest of my constituents. But I also want you to go to stopthevaluestest.ca where you can get some more information 
on what happened and there's also a variety of mechanisms that you can undertake in order to push back against this uh, terrible piece of policy. So just wanted to let you know that this motion was debated. We are trying to stop Justin Trudeau on this. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how the government votes because I know that a lot of the government, a couple of liberal members themselves actually spoke out against this. So hopefully there'll be enough liberal backbenchers to vote against the government that we can actually see them do the right thing for, for once. We are hopeful on this, but watch the vote. It will be worth watching. Working hard for you. Have a great evening.